Uh, question number seven, we are told the vertices of a triangle are one A, one, two, B, three, five, C, and C, four, one. The coordinates of C plying the image of C under a translation vector T are uh, six minus two. Determine the translation vector T. Uh, B, find the coordinates of a prime and B prime under the translation vector T. Now, in form two, when you covered vector one, you are to taught of uh, you are taught position vector, uh, position vector, and column vectors. But you not uh, okay. And column vector, it's okay. Column vectors. So, given the coordinates of a point, you can get the position vector because you just write it in a column form. Uh, column form is vertical, uh, unlike the way the coordinates are written. So, we can be able to form the, the position vector. So, to get the position vector OC, to get OC, it is equal to uh, our OC position vector formed by C plus the translation vector. So we can take this to the other side and we have uh, OC prime minus OC is equals to T, uh, which we can start with T is equals to OC prime uh, minus OC. Now I have said these are the position vector and we can be able to get that using the, the, the coordinates. So OC prime uh, we use 6 and 2 minus 2. So this is 6 and minus 2. So note here, I have just written the coordinates in a column form. Minus, uh, this is a, this is a C. The position vector of C will be 4 and 1. So 6 minus 4, that will give you 2. And two, minus 2 minus 1, that will give you minus 3. This is a translation vector. Translation vector is equals to 2 minus 3. Uh, and what does that mean? Uh, it means that when you are you C to, to get from C to C prime, you move two uh, units along the x-axis and uh, two three units uh, along the y-axis in the negative direction. In the negative direction so this is a positive you move a uh, negative direction so that is what it means uh, what translation vector means okay we look at uh, part B find the coordinates of a prime and B prime under the translation vector T so for just like we have done here uh, our a prime uh, our OC can be obtained by get adding OA that is OA prime can be obtained by getting OA plus the translation vector. And of course we have that. Uh, our OA we get it is 1, 2. Uh, that is the position vector of OA. And we add to the, the translation vector is 2 minus 3. Uh, so 1 my plus 2 that will give you 3. Uh, 2 plus minus 3 that will give you minus 1. So, because this is now the the translation uh, that, that is a position vector of OA, which is 3 minus 1, to get the coordinates, uh, you just write that in uh, linear form. So, this is A prime. Uh, this is A prime will be 3 minus 1. Uh, we do the same to, to B and say our O image of OB, OB, OB prime is equals to OB plus uh, translation vector, which is equal, our OB is uh, 3, 5 from the coordinates of B here, and we add to translation vector 2 minus 3, and uh, this is equals to 3 plus 2, that is 5, 5 plus uh, minus 3, that will be 5 minus 3, and that will give you two. So because this is uh, now the position vector, O B prime is equals to five two. It means the uh, coordinates of B prime are five 
and 2. And that is how you work out that question. You'll be able to get 3 marks uh, like that. Question number 8. Light sine 45 degrees in the form of in the form 1 over root a where a is a positive integer hence simplify root 8 over 1 plus sine 45 degrees leaving your answer in sad form okay so 45 is a special angle and we can be able to get that angle uh, we do that by using the right angle uh, isosceles triangle uh, like this one so this is a, a right angle so this side is equal to that we can say this is 1 and this is 1 so this is 45 and this is 45 degrees uh, so by the theorem we will say this side here is root 2 that is uh, the hypotenuse side is equal to the root of 1 squared plus the root of 1 squared 1 squared is 1 so 1 plus 1 is 2 the square root of 2 that so with that we can be able to say uh, the sine of uh, angle 45 the sine is opposite of a hypotenuse so it is 1 opposite of a hypotenuse which is the root of 2 uh, so we we have managed to express the sine of uh, 45 uh, in this format because now our a here is 2 this implies that uh, we can be able to write uh, uh, root 8 you divide by 1 uh, plus now instead of writing sine 45 we write 1 over root 2 uh, so we have uh, gotten rid of uh, foot, uh, sine 45 so uh, or we have managed to write it in third form so this is root 8 you divide by here you can cross multiply so this is 1 times root 2, you get root 2 uh, plus root 2 divided by root 2 is 1 times 1, you get it is 1. So you divide by root 2, or rather you get the LCM here, uh, which we can say it is root 8. Uh, maybe to understand it better, but this is not necessary, but I just want to show you how you get this. So it is root 2 uh, plus 1 you divide by uh, root 2 so you note here when you do like that you say it is root 8 you multiply you change the sign to multiplication and you write the inverse of this so this is root 2 you divide by root 2 uh, plus 1 now you know you can be able to combine this uh, so this is equals to the root of uh, 8 multiplied by 2 you divide by root 2 plus 1 which is equals to uh, the root of 16 divided by the root of 2 plus 1 so this means you get this is a 4 divided by the root of 2 plus 1 okay I'm using the wrong method so that you can understand how I have arrived to this now with that uh, this is now in third form but we need to simplify to remove the denominator uh, in the, 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 the third in the denominator and how what we call rationalizing the denominator so we write this is 4 divided by the root of 2 plus 1 what we do is we multiply by the conjugate of this uh, of the denominator the conjugate is that expression which will be able to give us a whole number in the denominator and the conjugate we change the sign so here it is root 2 plus 1 its conjugate is root 2 minus 1 so we multiply by uh, root 2 minus 1 divide by root 2 minus 1 uh, you note here we have multiplied both the numerator by root 2 minus 1 and also the denominator so that you know you, if you cancel this it will be equals to 1 so it is like we have multiplied our expression by 1 so we have not changed that is how we remove uh, the third in the denominator so we multiply form times root 2 
that should gi give us 4 root 2 4 times minus 1 that will give us minus 4 you divide by when you multiply this root 2 times root 2 you'll be able to get whole 2 uh, root 2 times minus 1 you don't need to write this but let's just show you how you get that it is minus root 2 then 1 times uh, root 2 it will be plus root 2 and then my 1 times minus 1 that will give us minus 1 so this will give us uh, 4 the root of 2 minus 4 divide by so this will go with that root minus root 2 plus root 2 that is 0 2 minus 1 is 1 and when you divide anything by 1 it, it doesn't change so it, our answer is uh, our answer is uh, 4 the root of 2 minus 4 and that is how you work out that so the important thing here is you know how to express uh, uh, special angles in uh, sad special angles are 30 45 and 60 uh, then from there you know how to simplify the the sad or an expression a sad expression uh, what we call rationalizing the denominator so that's how you work out that question